Hello Leo, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekend reading where we're going to be looking at what your mood is going to be like over the weekend and why it is going to be that way. So let's get started. Let's clear the space of any previous readings I've done on this table, any energies that have been around you from those readings and I call in your energy to come in and your spirit guides to come in here and show us what's up with Gemini. Ah. Gemini with Leo's energy over the weekend. I've been doing so many tarot readings today. Maybe you're going to meet a Gemini because yeah, if you know a Gemini, you should check their reading. My goodness, they're having a glow up moment over there. What are you having? <laughs> Let's have a look, Leo. Let's see what will come up for you. What is your mood going to be for this weekend, the last weekend of July? Let's have a look and see. Hmm. Five of Cups energy. What's why? Why is the Five of Cups in your mood over the weekend? A little bit of sadness over there. Because Five of Cups, is, it's, it's a card of sadness, a card of a little bit of feeling a bit alone, isolated. Um, you got to push yourself out of that energy because it says change your focus. We don't want to see that for the weekend. No, you might be feeling a little bit lonely over the weekend. Come, we'll hang out. Come on, let me know. If you're in South Africa, woohoo, we'll hang out. We'll hang out. Then you're not going to be lonely anymore. We'll talk till 2 o'clock in the morning about weird stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? So no, no, you got to shift that energy. Let's see what's causing this. What is causing this? Wanting to let, the, wanting to let something in. Wanting to get to know somebody. Wanting to actually open up to the world. It's almost like this energy of a little bit of sadness coming in here. What's happening? There's sadness here. Got a five of cups again. You've been carrying this about a little bit around with you. You got a breakup that possibly has happened, or so, yeah, there's something about the past here that's pulling you a little bit down. You don't want to be here, but it gets you this weekend. There's memories here about the past with the Six of Cups that comes in here. No, um, with the Queen of Materials can indicate indicate a breakup from the past. I'm just gonna put this one out there. Um, you may try to reach out to somebody, and I don't think that it's they want to open up to you or you may be thinking about somebody that's causing you to feel a bit lonely that's causing you to feel a bit down with the queen of materials five of two five of cups energy and the six of cups it might make you feel like should i try to reach out to them with the three of wands being up there there's this energy because three of wands talks about opening up your world it's like you know when you open your windows up in your house and you throw all the windows open you walk outside and you look at everybody in the street and you're like hello that's three of wands energy up there it's getting to know people letting somebody in so you might even be sitting here going you know i'm missing this person so much should i try to reach out to them maybe if i communicate with them i'm hearing like music playing it's not me. I think it comes from a car passing. It's a bit surreal, hey? Um, so uh, the thing is, yeah, it's like the Three of Wands energy. You know, sometimes when we're hurting like this, we just want the pain to go away. So we figure out I'm hurting because of the history, my past with another person. If I can go back together with them, the pain will go away. And it doesn't always work out that way, unfortunately. But let's see what, what let's go deeper into your weekend. I want to have an idea of what is going on here. What will happen with this Three of Wands? Yeah, there has definitely been something going wrong here. The Justice card in the reverse position. You, This is your, your problem here. You got your Justice card in the reverse position. This is what has gone wrong. It's Libra's energy as well. Um, you're looking at what has happened in the past as well. It's caused you a lot of pain. Something absolutely did not go your way. Um, you are wanting to fix it. I feel like with the Justice card being there. And then the Sun card comes up here. And that sun card is that energy of one, you wanting to fix it. You wanting to feel better. You wanting not to be in that place. I want to see what will your spirit guide say. Let's have a look and see. It's an ending without a doubt. Tower card and the world card. There's, a, there's something interesting that's coming up here. Um, definitely it's a past relationship there's a breakup here you got your queen of materials you got your justice card reverse position your six of cups your tower card talks about past history it's all coming up in your reading but there's something here that's making me go what's this and i'm picking up on two very positive cards a world card and a sun card that seems to be together on this side of the the reading which is future energy 
okay? This is more past energy. What has been, what is, what is coming. And with this two cards coming up here, I have to ask for you. Because the world card literally means your dreams will come true. And you're going to be feeling so much happy. There's going to be growth. There's going to be stability. There's going to be a future here. And in that future, it will be what your dreams will be what your dreams are it's like your dreams come true but now I need to understand what is this about is it about this person that you're missing or is this something that we don't know about show me a sign spirit guides so that my um, leaders out there can know what's this about what's coming here five voices is not about the past it is not about the past it, I'm going to put it here. I've got to dig a little bit deeper for you guys. I can't leave it like this. Um, it's not about the past. There's something about the future that is coming in. Five of voices is just conflict and the pain. The fives, the fives, it's all about what has been. See, we're tying cards together. So the five of voices is my sign from spirit that they're saying the past was conflict and it could not be solved with the five of voices being there. And because it's a five, it's about the pain that has been. Okay. So what is this? I have to reshuffle again because I'm asking another question. What is this world card in the sun? Is it the new energy? Very curious. Six of Wands, yes. Oh my gosh. Guys, you got a soulmate coming in. <gasps> Don't worry. Your focus will be changed very, very soon. If you reach out to the past, it's going to be the Five of Swords energy. Look to the future. That's why it says change your focus. Change your focus from the past. This person is even turning their back on the past. They're not facing the past. They are facing the future. There is somebody coming in for you. And I'm going to say this word finally with the Six of Wands being there. Six of Wands is my card between me and my spirit guides when they tell me that's a soulmate that's coming. When you meet this person, you will get the sun and the world. When you meet them, you will recognize them because you know them already. Oh, guys, not that you know them from your past. You know them from a soul level. So you've never met this person before. It's somebody new. Okay. But your soul knows them. Oh, man, their soul knows you. And that's what will bring the two of you just together like magnets. Oh, my gosh, guys, it's a beautiful reading. Please, I know you in this energy. You might be feeling like, why am I feeling like I'm missing my ex-person or I'm missing somebody? You're not missing your ex. <laughs> you are feeling a soulmate coming towards you. And you are missing somebody that you don't even, uh, you have not even met yet. It's because your soul knows them. And it's almost like the energy of the person that is coming towards you. Your soul energy is feeling it before the actual physical energy of feeling them. And that's why you feel like this vibe of I'm missing somebody. You're missing somebody you're still going to meet. <laughs> this is a beautiful reading, guys. Thank you for watching this. And I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Believe in this. And you're going to receive it. I'm sending my love in your direction. Bye.